Robin and George, good morning to you. And we're learning much more this morning about the pilot who was trying to land that Boeing 777 right here in San Francisco. You can see the charred fuselage right over my shoulder here, still sitting beside the runway here in San Francisco. That pilot was in training. We're also learning more about the final seconds inside that cockpit, the frantic moments as they had tried to abort that landing. This morning, new and revealing details from inside the cockpit of Asiana Airlines Flight 214 that crashed as it was landing in San Francisco. 214 heavy, emergency vehicles are responding. Overnight confirmation from the airline that the pilot in charge of landing that flight was training on the Boeing 777. This was his first time landing one at the San Francisco airport. The airline saying it was his ninth training flight, just 43 hours on the 777. This captain was fully licensed to be doing what he was doing. It wasn't a matter of he needed 10 flights and then he would get his license. It's a matter of after 10 flights, all his restrictions as a new captain in a new airplane are removed. Early this morning, the airline answering questions about the pilot's experience and about him flying into San Francisco. Our pilots go through simulation training and complete their training process before flying to the airport. So I don't think that the problem of the pilot being inexperienced exists. There are also new details emerging from one of the black boxes. Both recovered, both intact revealing the frantic moments just seconds before the impact. Seven seconds before the crash landing, a call from the cockpit, the pilot looking to increase speed. Then just four seconds before impact, this new image obtained by CNN, showing the plane hovering right over the San Francisco Bay. The sound of the stick shaker, a mechanism that literally shakes the controls in the pilot's hands, indicating the Boeing 777 speed was falling below where it should be. And then just a second and a half before impact, a call from the cockpit for a go-around to circle the airport again. But it was far too late. Then the image of the plane beginning to tumble. From San Francisco Bay, we saw the wreckage with a survivor describing the moment he said the pilot tried to abort the landing. You said it felt like the, the pilot was trying to take off suddenly all over again. Like seconds from touchdown. As we are approaching touchdown, the guy put full throttle on the engine to start to gain some altitude again. And this morning, a new view from inside the plane, the oxygen masks dangling, and you can see through the windows there, several rows ablaze. Overnight, we also learned for the first time that there were a few remaining passengers on board as the first of those fires broke out. It was somewhere in the area of three to five victims that were still in their seats that required assistance and rescue from our firefighters. Help getting out. Absolutely. Even as the fire had already erupted. Yes. We know so many of those passengers in critical condition this morning, and we're learning more about the two dead, those two Chinese girls, the teenagers coming. We have this image this morning, one of the families back in China hearing the heartbreaking news. And in one more development, the fire official telling me that they are investigating the very real possibility that one of the rescue teams might have run over one of those girls while answering the call here at the airport. If true, it would be one more level to this tragedy. They say that investigation is, in fact, underway as well this morning.